Good afternoon, everybody. Um, um, the topic of discussion today is uh, multimodal emotion recognition using deep learning architectures. Uh, this is work done along with Dr. Shayak Chakrabarti and my advisor, uh, Dr. Setu Raman Panchanathan. So in this presentation, we first uh, uh, present the MOFBBP database, which is a multimodal database of facial expressions, body gestures, vocal expressions, and physiological signals um, of recordings of actors uh, displaying three different intensities of expressions, um, and we have 23 different um, emotions that we consider. Uh, next, we describe four uh, deep belief network models that generate robust multimodal features for emotion classification in an unsupervised manner. And finally, we propose convolutional DBN models with region of interest extraction, uh, and these learn salient multimodal features for subtle emotion recognition. So uh, for our database, uh, we use the Microsoft Kinect for Windows sensor for capturing um, facial expressions, body gestures, and vocal expressions. Uh, we use the Zephyr BioHardness to obtain the physiological signals, and we also have wrist-worn accelerometers for capturing activity data. So the database also consists of um, facial, ex uh, facial tracking data and um, uh, skeletal tracking data. So the database is also collected using, uh, in, a C uh, in two different modes, um, in seated and in standing positions. Um, so moving on. So before that, uh, we are, we, uh, one important aspect of the database is that we have uh, six different examples of each of the emotions, uh, three of them um, uh, in seated and three of them in standing. Um, so that is a very unique feature of the database. Uh, some of the salient features uh, for the database, uh, the participants were recruited after a citywide call for people who have completed basic coursework uh, in acting on nonverbal communication. As part of the uh, participant information and, and assessment, they were asked to provide their age range, gender and ethnic background, and they also answered uh, questions about their uh, um, uh, um, uh, Activity, how, how well they would express their emotions. Uh, so all this is provided as metadata along with the database. And uh, we used three evaluators who actually evaluated each of the uh, emotion uh, videos. Uh, and this is also provided as uh, metadata. And the uh, database is available online at fbbb.org. Uh, moving on, um, one of the best ways to validate the authenticity of a new emotion database would be to use uh, you know, known methods of fe uh, feature extraction and also investigate um, its performance on state-of-the-art um, models on the collected data. So the figure shows uh, the illustration of the proposed DBN models. Uh, the demo FPVP model is a basic two-layer DBN. Uh, which uh, you know takes in um, uh, facial expressions, body gestures, vocal expressions, and physiological signals as input into the first hidden layer, and then they are concatenated and then given to the second hidden layer. Uh, the F plus demo FPVP is a two-layer DBN. Uh, here we use feature selection methods um, prior to DBN training, and in the third model we use feature selection post DBN training and uh, the fourth model is basically a three layer DBN uh, which basically stacks an additional uh, uh, RBM layer on the sec uh, over the second layer. For baselines we use uh, uh, two SVM models with radial basis functions um, kernels and then uh, we use we have both a a supervised feature selection and unsupervised feature selection methods for our baselines. So in our results uh, we see that uh, our uh, DBN models perform better than uh, uh, the baselines uh, in uh, you know, unimodal, bimodal, and multimodal scenarios. Um, we also have uh, results on standard emotion corpora um, on these databases. And finally, we also have results using convolutional DBNs um, in, uh, with region of interest extraction. Please stop by at our poster number A7 for uh, more details. Thank you very much.